Okay, uh, so what you hear now is um, actually in, uh, a video channel of, of Yuval, the, the company behind the core team of H5P, and um, uh, there are some videos, and I, I'm, I'm, yeah, I, I found it by chance um, because I have a Google alert on H5P, and um, well, it informed me, hey, there's a, a Vimeo channel that hosts H5P videos, maybe, and I had to look at it, and went, okay, it is Yuval. Um, I don't think they have announced it publicly, but well, I found it. Uh, now you can have a look too. And you see, there are just uh, five videos yet, so it's not that much. But um, uh, this is, of course, on, on um, yeah, how to create content. So if you're familiar with HRF, you don't need that one. But the last three ones, the current three ones, I could say, um, are interesting um, because um, those three here. Um, you can already see that they are showing some of the new features that are not yet released or not have not yet been released that way um i think i i showed that as well at least screenshots of it it's um em emoji cloud emoticon cloud uh, which you can use to um yeah, like an audience response system so you can gather feedback from the audience in a, in a pretty nice way so uh, you can uh, uh, they, they demonstrate that and by the way it doesn't matter if you w which of these um, you watch it. It seems that um, there are recordings of webinars and that uh, they seem to be done over and over again. So, um, uh, yeah. So, um, the interesting bit might be um, that you can see up here. Okay, I shouldn't hover with my mouth. Uh, my mouse. Um, it is, I think it has not been shown anywhere publicly. It is um, called Multipol, where you can, which you can use to create like questionnaires in, in a pretty nice um, way. And you will see it's not only text fields where you can enter stuff, it's all you can even have visual answers where you can uh, kind of select the hotspot um, that you would choose as an answer. And then the um, most interesting thing um, um, you can see. On the, on the right hand side already and I'll go to that here and by the way of course I will share the links in, in the description and I can for those who are live um, of course I can I should have done that before I can share it on the chat so that is the um, the channel of Yubel and there you will find this video here and what you see here now I, I'm not showing the video I'm just skipping through the uh, through it a little bit so uh, it's called the chase uh, because people are going to chase each other and um, it really looks really nice so this is just a demo so they have um, mock-ups screen not, it's not screenshots like um, how would you call it it's a mock-up so that is how it should look and uh, I think it's already implemented in part um, uh, yeah so um, how should it work uh, um, um, as far as I can get from uh, what Ryan showed us so um, a student would enter his or her name and uh, yeah then you would start and then first of all you would choose like an avatar which is pretty nice I think it looks kind of cool and uh, if for by the way completely different to what we're used from H5P so um, which is not, not ugly but well um, simplistic maybe but and this is really fancy and, and good looking so um, you choose an avatar and then uh, let's see and you choose a name of course so uh, you, people know who you are and teachers know who you are and then you can get started um, there's a time load you have to wait until all the participants are in there so it's a synchronous a chase uh, a game that now you play against uh, other people so um, I think um, yeah, here it is you can see um, the timer up on top and you can see the points that you have achieved and then um, obviously you can have all kinds of HRP interactions you know those the berry quizzes and the uh, demo uh, content so um, yeah you can go through that um, quiz and answer uh, in the end and then you, again you have to wait until all the people have answered and then as a teacher well first of all you will see your score and then as a teacher uh, let's see where is it so that is just setting up the game and as a teacher then you can see the results and um, in, in two ways so first of all you can see the scores of people um, because that might be interesting um, who got the most points and you can also see okay who um, answered the most questions so you have different uh, ways to evaluate who who's the the winner of the game um, and i think that was it yeah again you have this high score uh, and of course you can see all the answers um, 
that were given, um, or the yeah, how many people answered which option, answer option. Does it make sense? I guess. So, um, yeah, not more the answers, more answers. Uh, yeah, I guess that's it. And uh, yeah, I just found it by chance. So um, I'm not sure if you will be angry now. I hope not. I didn't ask. <laughs> uh, maybe I should have, sorry. Um, but uh, yeah, Google found it. So, and I don't, I don't see a reason why um, it shouldn't be shared because it's pretty cool to see it.